This is a sanitary diaphragm seal assembly, uninstalled without any applied pressure. And yet, pressure is rising. Let's review how to address this common issue that occurs within the sanitary market. Time to dive in. When selecting a diaphragm seal, one of the most critical decisions is choosing the right diaphragm size. Not only is that diaphragm now the primary measuring element, but it also has to compensate for changes in both process and ambient temperature, which in many locations can swing frequently between cold or hot on a daily basis. Inside of the diaphragm seal assembly, there's an oil. As process temperatures or ambient temperatures increase, that oil expands ever so slightly. If the diaphragm is flexible enough, it absorbs the small change in fluid volume. Stiffer diaphragms can absorb the volume change and results in an incorrect pressure reading. This is also known as temperature drift. As you can see, this fractional diaphragm cannot absorb the expanding fill fluid and is triggering a false reading, while the assembly with an appropriately sized diaphragm is reading four milliamps or zero. Here's what that deviation looks like with 60 PSI of applied pressure. This is obviously a simplified example of a more complex problem. If you need assistance with properly selecting and sizing a diaphragm seal, please head to riotemp.com. Find the configurator for diaphragm seals, then fill out the form labeled, get help choosing a seal. You'll be promptly assisted by one of our diaphragm seal specialists. Who knows, it might even be me. For more two minute tech videos and other great content, click the subscribe button below. If you have any other questions, please head to riotemp.com and click the contact us link. Thanks for watching.